But I would say if you are not abiding to the rules, um, the regulations, the statutes, we are going to continue to exercise our administrative power. The Cannabis Control Division has revoked the licenses of two Torrance County cannabis farms. This follows a Target 7 investigation last month in which our team told you about how the division is taking a more boots on the ground approach with its enforcement. John Cardinale joins us now to tell us where these far how these farms were caught. John. Yes, Shelley and Ron, one of the farms was caught during a random spot inspection. The other was a complaint and Todd Stevens, the director of the Cannabis Control Division claims the new approach to enforcement is working. These final decision orders against the Native American Agricultural Development Company and Bliss Farm found the cannabis producers to be in violation of state rules. 20,000 plants is the maximum that, that a, a licensee can grow. Both of these licensees exceeded that, uh, as well as not having any uh, plants in the track and trace system. According to Robert Sachs, Division Counsel for the Cannabis Control Division, the facilities also lacked proper security for a licensed grow. There needs to be on every licensed premises, digital surveillance, working alarm systems. Um, this is obviously for the protection of the employees and the business owners, but also so that in instances where we can verify when cannabis is being moved on or off property, how it's being packaged, how it's being harvested. Both growers will now have to wait a three year period before they can reapply for a new license. Each operation also has to pay $1 million in fines. All of the fines that we collect do go to the education fund, so it does benefit um, the school system, the education system of New Mexico. Todd Stevens, the director of the Cannabis Control Division, says this new year will see more cannabis businesses being cited because of the department's aggressive approach. We are going to continue to have spot random inspections as well as getting more sophisticated in our investigations, looking into BioTrack and using all our resources and tools available. So yeah, boots on the ground. Uh, you folks are going to see us. And these are the fifth and sixth licenses the division has revoked since its creation in 2021. I'm John Cardinelli reporting KOAT Action 7 News. The CCD has levied more than $2.3 million in fines related to illegal activity.